Suspects on the run tonight, wanted by the authorities 24 hours after a shootout in the parking lot of a popular East Memphis restaurant. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Joyce Peterson uh, in for Joy. That's right, and I'm Joe Birch. And this, this restaurant, Huey's on Poplar, I mean, it's beloved. The yes. parking lot is full most nights when you go by. So the scene unfolded there in East Memphis on Sunday evening. Action News 5's Bria Bolden joins us now from East Memphis with new details we've learned about the investigation. Bria? Yeah, well, Memphis police are looking for those two suspects. Meanwhile, a third is in the hospital. He is expected to be okay, but he was shot by an off-duty police officer. Memphis police say the suspects fired shots at the officer first. No charges have been filed yet as this investigation continues. This video from inside Huey's in East Memphis captures the moments before gunfire rang out at the popular Memphis burger joint. <laughs> They're breaking into your car. Memphis police say an off-duty officer was involved in a shootout after noticing an attempted car break-in around 7 o'clock Sunday night. The gunfire sent one suspect to the hospital. The other two are on the run. When the police officer identified himself, those uh, car th thieves, they didn't hesitate at all because there's no consequence to them assaulting a police officer. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland, a critic of Shelby County's justice system, says offenders need to be held accountable by the courts. Police arrest them and they're let out of court, whether they're adult or children, and so, this has to stop. Monday, Huey's was back open for business. We spotted a security guard in the parking lot. In a statement, Huey's officials said, quote, we know that it is always unnerving to hear of any type of violence in our city. They went on to thank employees inside the store for helping customers take cover. All right, so we read the police report regarding this incident. Nine people spoke to police. Five of them actually had their cars broken into. We reached out to all nine. Many denied our request for a comment, and some did not get back to us. If you know anything about this investigation, make sure you reach out to the Memphis Police Department. Reporting live in East Memphis tonight, Bria Bolden, Action News 5.